morning. Today is noodle day. Also, I'm meeting up with another really awesome foodie, Mark Wins. So I'm gonna meet him for some noodles. Can't wait. I'm trying to get to a noodle restaurant and then the cab driver dropped me off in this residential neighborhood. When he was driving up this thing, I, I thought I was getting legit kidnapped because I'm like, there's just a bunch of houses here where I don't see any restaurants. But it is close to here. Thank goodness for Google Maps. It, the restaurant is close. Ooh, dog. And these are some really pretty houses in this neighborhood. Look at these houses. I just realized something. I'm walking around and I'm like, hey, I'm not sweaty. A thunderstorm last night and now it's not even that humid. It's, it's pleasant. This is the first time I've been in Bangkok that I, I felt like the temperature, the temperature is okay. The craziest thing you can do in Bangkok is cross the road. Typically there's no signal to deliver. At least what I'm trying to cross, and just, people just run across the street. I kid you not. Little old ladies will just run across the street, right, right in front of a car. And your goal, you're basically, you're basically playing Frogger here. Your goal is to not die. That's it. If you can get across the street and not die, you win. And not die. See, okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look, I had a lot of practice in New York. Location number one, look at this. Look at this massive cauldron of meat. This is, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. That, that's like a swimming pool of meat. There's Mark and his wife and their little baby. Guys, that's, uh, you know you know what that is? That's, that's exactly what you're thinking that is of a cow, I'm sure. Our fourth location for noodles, and this is this what area was this called, Mark? Sapan Kwai. And there's tons. I mean, I just see street food vendors everywhere. Yeah. Do you, do you can smell the aroma of all the all the food brewing and cooking, man. The food aroma I like. The Dorian aroma not so much, but uh, you guys come out here a lot to eat. Uh, sometimes it's kind of far from where I live, but I love coming here when I have a chance. I love. I just love walking around. It's just being surrounded by food. It's like being surrounded by loved ones. I don't know. Am I weird? Am I weird for saying that? Not weird at all, man. <laughs> I love it too. All oh, those, look at those egg noodles, man. Oh, you see them already? random alleyway in Bangkok and I, I'm just gonna look for some random food to eat. I mean, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going. I don't, ooh, that looks good. Look at that chicken. Wow, it's so good. Freshly made papaya salad and roasted chicken. Although they don't give you any, any chopsticks or forks. Look at that. Beautifully made papaya. It's mm. like. Mmm. It's really salty though. Limey. That's all good. Also very salty. That's the roasted chicken. 
Ooh. Mmm. That is charcoal -y. That is really, ooh. That is really tender and good. This is three pearls and coconut cream. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. It's all smooth and melty and coconutty and chewy and mochi. A lot of cheese. One thing about Thai street food is not very sanitary. The lady who was making my papaya salad, she was touching the salad directly and then she was touching the money and then she even took some of my salad, you know, put, put it in her mouth and then mixed it some more with the same hand. Going to my first Thai supermarket. It's very not what I expected. I don't know. I just thought maybe this this whole thing would be kind of like the street vendor, um, a little unorganized. But everything is laid out beautifully. It's clean. It's bright. There's a food court, and that's really important. <laughs> That's definitely very Chinesey. In sauce, you see everywhere. I love this sauce. I wish it could be in every single restaurant in the U.S., including McDonald's. Ooh! Wow, I love the seafood display. And look how clean this is. Not smelly at all. This market is beautiful. Now to load up on snacks before I head home. Tried mango sting. Yes, please. It's got to browse the ramen aisle, but this is. I mean, this is more. A lot of Korean ramen. A lot of Japanese ramen. Where are the Thai ramen? Oh, Thai ramen heaven. So much. This is basically all I got to take home because um, I feel like this is very distinctively Thai. Um, Rambutan, this is beautiful. Tried um, heart of palm, beautiful. Just gonna take the subway for the first time today. Bangkok subway system is kind of like one in Hong Kong. You buy a little card, you put it in when you get in, and you keep it, and then you. And that's it. So Thailand has uh, both BTS and MRT. BTS is sort of like the air train and MRT is the subway. So now I'm taking the MRT to the next night market. And the MRT gives you a little, little black toy button. <laughs> This kind of is like the Taiwan system. <gasps> I was almost trapped in the subways forever. This is really straightforward. When you go down, there's only two directions and everything's labeled very clearly. So sort of the anti-New York City subway. What? I need this. wrapped up my video on the Bangkok train market and that was such a fun night market much better than any night market I've, I've been to in Taiwan just the vibe is different just happier more enjoyable and I might feel that way because I think the entire theme around that market is really about food you know 
and it's not as crowded as the Taiwanese uh, night markets. I remember in Taiwan, I would literally be squeezing next to people trying to get buy like a beef skewer. But there, it was crowded, but it wasn't insane crowded, you know? Anyway, I had a ton of great stuff to eat. Again, if you want to check it out, go to my Strictly Dumpling channel. Good night, guys. I think a 7-Eleven slushie is exactly what I need right now. I think this is a good rule. 